2006 Mitsubishi Colt CZT. It's actually 1.5 litre turbo. People sort of call them the Mini Evo, don't they? The 1.5 litre turbo. Um, front wheel drive, manual gearbox. This one in bright red with the uh, sort of rally art pack. So it's got the rally art stickers on the side. White Mitsubishi wheels um, and some rally art stickers on the back as well. Right, starting with the bodywork, we'll start on this front driver's wing. All nice and tidy on the wing itself. Obviously, we've got this sticker pack on there. No sign of any corrosion coming through on the arch. The wheels are in lovely condition. There's no curbing at all on that. Nice and tidy. If we're being picky, a little bit of surface corrosion on the uh, on the wheel nuts if you wanted to change those, but that's me being very mean, very picky. Nice and tidy up that A pillar. There's no sign of any stone chips on the leading edge of the bon uh, roof. If we look at the roof itself, paint on the roof's a bit dry. You can hear it. It could do with a bit of a polish on there. There's the odd little tree sap and bird poo mark that would come off when you do that as well but there's no dints or dents or anything like that on it nice and clean around the wing mirror nothing to really know coming down the driver's door sill cover which comes with that czt pack is all nice and neat it's not been jacked up incorrectly or anything like that and normally you'd expect some stone chips and some rust to be bubbling through in here by now but as you can see this one is lovely and clean all the way around tints on the on the rear windows standard clear glass on the front Coming round onto the back, tail lights in and out are on both sides, are lovely and bright. No marks on any of the bumper corners. Exhaust again, part of that CZT, you get the exhaust, whereas a normal Colt you wouldn't see that. That's all sitting nice and level. Round the handle's good, there's no scratching along here where you'd think it would get scratched with things getting pulled in out of the boot. Got a little spoiler on the back as well, that's all in nice condition. A little bit of a, oh no, it's um, from us cleaning it, ignore that nice and clean on the rear arch on the passenger side, nice and sharp on the inside there if you can see no sign of any corrosion coming through there sticker pack's lovely and bright, it's not faded out or anything like that, we do have nope, that's dust as well, ignore that, I thought we had a stone chip but no, all good down the bottom there no marks to really note on the passenger side, there's one little scratch under the keyhole on this side other than that, all good and nice and neat on that front arch. You've got like an arch liner on the front there where you can't see in there. There's no corrosion or anything coming through. Another good wheel and tyre. On the bottom of the screen, that's all nice and neat. Got one little stone chip just on the A-pillar there on this side. And then round on the front, the headlights could do with a good flat and polish because they're a bit milky, as you can see. Very little in the way of stone chips or scuffs on that front bumper. And same story on the air. Uh, On the, on the bonnet itself as well. Moving on to the interior. So the CZT gets a nice spec from a standard cold. Black leather interior with a red stitching. Perforated leather in the centre. Uh, and these larger sort of sports seats with the big bolsters. Nice condition. A little bit of wear on the lower bolster, but other than that, all good. Black carpet set, nice and tidy in that. We've got air conditioning and a CD player in there as well. Electric mirrors, electric windows, front and rear fogs. This one shows 85,984 miles. We we'll look in the back. The uh, zip has been undone on the seat, so I'll do that up. It's a bit dark in here. We'll see if we can brighten it up, but it's uh, nice and clean in the back. It doesn't look like it's been used hardly at all in there. Headlining's all lovely and clean. Move all the way around into the boot. I've managed to knock the parcel shelf off there, so ignore that. Pop that back on, the parcel shelf's there, it's intact. Carpet set and everything in the boot, all nice and tidy. We're gonna leave that off because it's gonna keep flopping off. It's actually, the reason why is it's missing the little clip from that side. You see the little plastic clip there? It's missing the one on the driver's side. So it all sits in and locks in place, but doesn't on the other side. So it just wants a little clip replacing there. And then it's the passenger side. Nice and neat on the door card. Passenger side seat, nice and firm on the bolsters. A little bit of wear on the outer bolster, but given the size of them, they're quite deep. You're gonna get a bit of wear on them. Lovely and clean on the passenger side of the dash. Carpet set's all good. There's no funny smells or anything in there. And then under the bonnet, you've got that 1.5 litre turbo, which I'll show you when I can find the catch. There we go. Got that bonnet pinned up. I'd like say 1.5 litre turbo, front wheel drive, manual gearbox. Just been driven to us as well, which is always good. Nice and clean and tidy in there. Get it fired up. A little 
little bit of a belt squeak there when it's fired in life, but goes straight away as you can see. Taking over nice and smooth. Being a turbo, you want to check you've got no oily smoke or anything coming out the back, which as you can see, we don't. No warning lights on in the dash. That's how taking over nice and happy. So there you have it. It's 2006 on a 56 Mitsubishi Colt CZT at your 1.5 litre turbo. Any more questions, please get in touch.